like you're saying, if someone loves someone else, so why should he be blamed? I said this is a research. This is a hypothesis. It's not a fact. And later on we came to know that this hypothesis was wrong and the person who propounded this hypothesis, he himself was a homosexual. Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu, tell me to go Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And your girlfriend, Nungu. And we are Fun and Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel. You're really the biggest MVP. And another thing, guys, we want to thank everybody who's been giving us reaction videos. You're also the biggest MVP. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. This one right here was suggested by a lot of people. And they suggested that we should go to uh, we should go and react to Dr. Z Zaki Naik on why is homosexual condemned in Islam. Yeah. So without any further ado, let's get it. A main doubt on um, homosexuality. Uh, like, is it prohibited in Islam? And uh, why so? Because uh, like I had uh, like from the past five years, I've been with so many homosexuals. It's like. Uh, I mean, their feelings that they have for the for the same sex or whatever it is, it's so true. I mean, it's like the same kind of pain what we might feel for for maybe our husbands or whoever it is. If it's wrong, why is it wrong? This is the question that what does Islam say about homosexuality, and if it's wrong, why it is wrong? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 32 that come not close to adultery, for adultery is an evil opening other roads to evil. Besides that, Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, that telling to men, that do you practice your lust after men in preference to women? That means homosexuality is prohibited in Islam, in the Quran, because Almighty God made the human beings Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 21, that He has put love between the hearts of husband and wife. Almighty God has made the human being in such a way that they love the opposite sex. Generally, naturally, no human being loves the same sex. I'm talking about the love which is required in husband and wife, not the protonic love which you have between your brothers and between your sisters. Now, initially, there was a research which said that homosexuality is genetic. So, during question and answer time, somebody asked me, the way you're asking, if homosexuality is genetic, then how is that human being to blame? It came from his parents, so why is he to blame? Like you're saying, if someone loves someone else, so why should he be blamed? I said this is a research. This is a hypothesis. It's not a fact. And later on we came to know that this hypothesis was wrong. And the person who propounded this hypothesis, he himself was a homosexual. So homosexuality is not genetic. It comes, today science tells us, how do homosexuals evolve? Because what Almighty God has given permission for a human being, what's permitted? You get married, do nikah, you can have sex with your wife. And Islam says that while doing, having sex with your wife is also worshipping Allah. Because you're preventing the haram, you're not going outside the marital bond, to satisfy your urges. That's Islam. Today science tells us, today research tells us that those people who have multiple life partners outside the marriage bond, as compared to those who only have with the spouses, they enjoy their sexual life much better than the others. And what happens today, when you get tired with it, you go to the western countries, you have mistresses. 5, 10, 20, no problem. You start then doing unnatural things. When you start doing unnatural things, you don't follow the law of the Creator and you try and satisfy your urges in the wrong way. The moment you keep on doing the wrong way, 
then you keep on going beyond what is natural and that's how the person becomes homosexual. It is not genetic because you go beyond the limits what Almighty God has permitted you. You try other things, you try unnatural things and finally you land up by saying you do no longer enjoy having sex with the opposite sex, so you have sex with the same sex. So sister, because they have broken the law of Almighty God and they do unnatural things, that's how psychologically they become a homosexual. So but naturally if you break the law of Almighty God, that's totally wrong. And that's how it lands up a person being homosexual. So they are to blame and Islam prohibits homosexuality, even Christianity prohibits homosexuality. Most of the religions are against homosexuals. It's now the Western countries are saying, because in democracy, whatever majority says, you win. Majority wins. In Islam, majority doesn't win, the haq wins. The truth wins. I remember when I had gone to Canada in 1996, the first time I went to give a lecture, in the front page I saw a man kissing a man. A man kissing a man and it says that they have married each other. Today in Western countries, if I speak against homosexuality, it's a crime. It's a crime. So what we realize that previously, previously, all the countries homosexuality was a crime. Then some Western countries like Canada gave legal sanction to it. Today, most of the Western countries, homosexuality is legal. Even India, the country where I come from, they are thinking. They are thinking to make it legal. So what we realize, what is truth is truth. Majority doesn't win. What is wrong is wrong. And in Islam and most of the major religions of the world, homosexuality is a sin. It's a crime. It will not take you to heaven, it will take you to hell. Hope that answers the question, sister. Wow. What do you think? It's funny how, um, I think I'll insert my statements like that. Um, oh, so, so, so it's cut it short. Do you think it's a, it's a good thing or it's a bad thing? What? For sexuality? Mm -hmm. I don't know. If that's what you're into, then, then you're into that. If you're straight, you're straight. If you are, if you like the same sex as you, then you, that's you. What I'm trying to say is, um, you see how each and every country was against this, but now this is becoming popular among us. Not just Western countries, even African countries are doing it, Asian countries are doing it. Today, was it today? I read an article that now, you know how they can be like a gay couple? Mm -hmm. Do you think churches would allow them to marry in church? I don't think, if it's a straight church, if it's a church that doesn't church. allow homosexuality, I think they shouldn't, if they go forward to do that, then they are actually uh, seconding the act, you understand? So I don't think... I what don't I'm think. trying to say is I don't think normal churches are going to allow homosexuals to carry the, to do their weddings in church. But today I read that now Hindus, I don't know how familiar gay people are, are among Hindus, they were, it was possible for them to have their wedding in church. Mm which is very rare is what I'm trying to make you understand. So if it was wrong before, if it was wrong in the beginning, maybe it is wrong now. But then everything now has become a right. Now the majority wins, just like he said. Because of the democracy. Uh, the, um... But then if we look at things, even Christians now um, are gay, uh, whatever they want to be. Uh, the gay pastors, but then the if you look at the way things were, Adam created, Adam created, G oh, Lord, God created Adam and Eve, mm. others who argue that way, God created man and woman, not man and man, not woman and woman, so maybe it's not right, what are your thoughts though?
um, according to me personally, I feel homosexuality is not good. Just, just to be honest, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend anybody out there, but it's, it's, it's not good. Just that's my own opinion. You get it. And according to Dr. Zakir Naik, according to the Quran, uh, according to Islam, it's not. It's condoned. Like it's not good. You get it. And I believe too. It's a. Uh, it's condemned. Sorry. And I believe in in what in uh, in Christianity too. It's being condemned. I mean, it's not a thing to to look at it like ah oh, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a. I mean, just think about it. Just sit down and think about it. I mean, it's just really disturbing. But anyway, uh, the 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 people nowadays have come up with their own theories and started uh, coming out and saying that oh, it's genetic and how oh, the Bible allows the homosexuality, they can even, somebody say that ah, King James was, was, was what was gay and is the one who, who ushered in the, the, the what, like the King James version of the Bible. You know, people coming, coming out with a lot of theories, but when you go probably deeper and trying to do a lot of research, there's nothing like that. King James didn't, wasn't homosexual, it was not all this type of thing that people are thinking. But anyway, uh, the world we live in today, I think it's just you can't go against these people publicly. You can't be, you can't go start bashing out homosexuals out there, which uh, which I think it's, it's 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 there by law. Like if you do that, you probably gonna be you're gonna be taken to jail and something like that. And most, most, most of the countries now, they're even trying to think, thinking like, do, do, should we allow homosexuality in the country and stuff like that. Anyway, in my, uh, in my country, President Barack Obama came in and uh, one of the reporters asked uh, Uhuru Kenyatta about whether he's ready to sign in homosexuality to be legal in Kenya. But I liked how he answered the question. He said, you know what? We are we are having uh, other other things to deal with, like corruption, like uh, trying to make our country better. Us thinking about legalizing homosexuality is something that is just minute, it's something so small. So it doesn't concern us as a government right now. Let's just deal with with what is important ahead of us. So I mean, and I think he went. I don't know, but some other people are saying that, you know what, they can practice whatever they want to practice as long as they don't do it publicly. In some countries, I think in Kenya, if you're doing publicly, probably they're going to arrest you or something like that. Like if you show it, uh, a man and a man kissing in public, they're going to arrest you. So you can do it privately and, what, and all those sort of things, which is uh, still... I feel it's, it's bad, I mean, you get it. But anyway, I'm not trying to bash anybody out there. But this is a good, good word, good topic over here. So what do you think? I wanted to ask you what you thought about how the entire world thought it was bad. Yeah, it's bad because, I mean, come to think about it, it's going against the law of nature, first of all. It's going against the law of... Uh, uh, the religious act, whatever, whatever thing that is going out there, you get it. So I mean, just to think of it, just going breaking out the law, uh, the law of nature, breaking out the, the religious whatever thing. I mean, it's it's just absurd it to just think about it. What yeah. about tradition? Yeah, even tradition. Let's even leave tradition alone. Let's just go in the law of nature. I mean, you can't see such things in nature. You can't see another dog and a dog. Uh, another female and a female dog trying to you get it it's a hard thing to see nowadays you get it. i mean not even nowadays back in those days never happened even today i think it should never happen but i'm not unless they're conditioned to do that you get it so i mean i think they felt it was bad uh like they felt like it's not something that it's for now let's just not think about it but I think now is when they are thinking about it so critically probably that's just their own agenda or whatever the situation it is. So if, anyway, what, what I want to, if 
if before they thought it was bad, why should they hold it against other countries that are saying no or not for this? Sorry, come again? If the Western world before thought mm -hmm. it was bad as well, mm -hmm. why is it that they should come in with all these things of rights to other countries that are saying no, we're just not going to allow this? I think there is an act of conditioning there. The more we subject ourselves to the Western world, them in the beginning they were not into that, but now they are trying to go into this country and trying to tell them like, no, no, they deserve their rights and whatnot, which is, which is actually ironic, yeah, yeah. in some way. Because for me, I don't feel like it's it's a thing that someone should just come and accept it just right there and then. That's why they are trying to condition everybody, and I don't like the fact they are trying to put it in every uh, children's uh, what do you call it? cartoons and whatnot. Leave the kids alone. Let the kids grow as a kid. Let's not try and condition the kids to become homosexual, which is really really. Bad. Let them grow. If they want to become one, fine. But let's not condition them. These are small kids, they don't deserve that. Okay. And the most important point he made, one of the most important points he made was that um, it was what hypothesis? Yeah, like the research. The research and everything that came with it was proven what? Wrong. Yeah, it was proven wrong because the person no who was doing it. One gay? No one is born gay. Yeah, but they actually found that the person who, who was conducting the research was actually homosexual. Yeah, I'm sure they were trying to prove the point, yeah. which they ended up just being wrong about. Anyway, um, I'm not I'm not saying you should stop doing whatever you want to do. Go on and do it. Just just do your thing. I mean, it's a free one. Do your thing. But according to my own opinion, I feel it's not a good act. It's, it's, a, it's a bad act. Sorry if I'm offending you, but that's my opinion. Anyway, guys, if you feel like uh, we've reacted to this video, the better way is to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in our comment section, tell us exactly what you think about our reaction. What do you think about this video right there of Dr. Naik? Why is homosexuality condemned in Islam? Just let us know in the comment section below. What do you think? Um, everybody out there, whether you're a believer of Christian or whatever, just let us know what you think. Is it is it a good thing to have nowadays? But despite being whatever someone wants to be, I feel like we should still love each other. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Love, love, love everybody. I mean, it doesn't mean that that guys are homosexual, so I shouldn't treat him the same way. I should, I should treat this person again. Okay? They're all I think people. we should look into why people feelings. are homosexual. Yeah, I mean there are many factors as to why people, you know, change, uh, change, maybe their homes, change whatever the situation to become one. And I mean there are many factors, uh, which which are factors that they are out there. I should think so, but not genetically. You get it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos, to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next uh, video. And peace out.